What's up everyone? In this vid I will show everyone how to do a tool assisted speedrun or TAS. This emulator you see here is SNES 9X. So using this I'll teach how to do a TAS. And this this pretty much applies for every emulator. They may have different settings for another emulator, but it's pretty much all in all the same, so, yeah. Alright, first off, let's open a ROM. We'll just use this one. Alright, first of all, you're going to want to set your hotkeys. So come to config and hotkeys, and come down here, and you can see everything that you can set. We're going to set our save states, because those are important unless you like the default ones which are usually the the shift plus F keys and just simply F keys to load but I have mine set to my number pad for the ones I use but you can set to whichever you want also frame advance you're gonna wanna set that too unless you're already happy with the default one but I have mine set to something that I'm good with so yeah next off you see this here this here and down here you can see an input to set those come to emulator display and these three are the things that I just talked about input display was the thing at the bottom the frame counter is the thing constantly going right here and the lag counter is down there those are usually really helpful when making a TAS. Okay, now let me get to a stage. Alright. I'll let this intro go by. the emulator by pressing frame advance one time and then come over to file movie record new movie now if you want to record a movie from the very beginning of the game click this record from reset and from wherever you uh, start your movie it will automatically reset the game and begin recording from there but in this case we want to record from where we're at now so I'm going to click record from now and browse to save um, save it my desktop which will be our movie file alright as you can see it began recording and it started all over from the frame count zero and right now I'm gonna save my state so just in case I screw something up I can reload the state I'll show you an example of that right now take for example I dash and hit this enemy or just jump into them. We can always undo that by loading that state. But what we want to do now is just completely avoid him and jump over him. So to use frame advance what you have to do is you have to hold the button down and then while holding the button down hit frame advance for as, as many frames as you need it to be. So in this case we're gonna dash and jump over him. So we hit dash for a couple of frames and then jump until we're over him and on the ground. And since this is, uh, we're gonna uh, want optimal speed from this, right when we hit the ground, we're gonna wanna dash. So, as soon as we gain control of X, as you can see here, he starts moving. You're gonna wanna make sure you do that at the optimal time though but I'm just doing this as an example. So we got control of X, now I'm gonna hold the dash button and hit frame advance and now I wanna jump over him so now I'm gonna keep on holding dash and jump over him. Now we're dash jumping. There we go, cleared him. So now we're going to make sure we want to dash right when we land. So we can't see X right now, so we have to do a little bit of t 
testing. So right here, let's see, dash, and nope, he hit the ground. Okay, one more frame, then dash, nope, two more frames, then dash, there we go, now he's dashing. And we're gonna save, just in case we mess up. Alright, gonna keep going. I think every two frames, once I stop dashing, you can start dashing again, so one, two, start dashing again. There we go. You can also dash jump. Make a time. Oh, we messed up the jump. Oops. Messed that up too. Oh, messed that up. There we go. We don't have to take care of those if we can make it in time, but if you do want to shoot them, you can either fire charge busters or single pellets. Keep in mind on this on the SNES games, X can shoot every other frame, and while dashing, his, sh his single shots are much more powerful than doing it without dashing, so. Also, three can only be on the screen at one time until they disappear hit an enemy, so we're gonna just kill off this enemy to see. Okay, shot, then skipped, then shot, then skipped, then shot. That's how we shoot every other frame. Didn't kill him, but it doesn't matter. We didn't need him to die. Since we can make it in time. But we're gonna want to land. <laughs> and dash right when we land. Nope. Two. One, two, three. There we go. Oh no, there's enemies there. Well, you can either bypass them or get them out of the way. Let's see. Dash. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, shoot him. One dash shot, I believe, kills them. We can clear them both with a charge buster. Let's try and kill this guy. that up. So we're gonna have to go back over here at our other state. And shoot, shoot. Oh, I didn't kill him. That's weird. you get of course you can shoot more consistently that way because shots usually disappear right when they hit the enemy and stuff but yeah you get the idea I'm gonna stop it right here and go to file movie stop movie and file movie play movie choose our movie and hit OK also, if you want to record an AVI, you come over to File, Audio, Video, Recording, Start AVI Recording, Save, uh, choose your name, and then save it, and of course, choose your codec, but I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, I'm going to just let this play, so unpause it to see what we did. There you go. That's pretty much it, and good luck doing this.